That is correct. It is the Angel Clark Show, but no Angel Clark today. She is off this week at an undisclosed location. Instead, at least for this day only, before I get kicked out of here, my name is Brian Hagen, taking things over on this Tuesday, the uh, 24th day of June 2014, broadcasting live from Pork Fest 2014. Taryn P. Lupo is uh, co-hosting along with me, and he's pointing at his microphone going, let me talk, let me talk. I didn't have your microphone you on for a reason, me. Lupo. I, I wasn't yes. ready for you to talk yet. You here. talk when I tell you to talk. No. Do you know, your intros are too look, long. Look, look, let me tell you something. You look, my intros are too long. Yourself. My yeah. intros are too your long. Intros. Let me tell you something. I am the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Nobody is going to draw more of an audience no. than me, Brian Hagen. Look, Lupo, do you have this little box in front of you? Do you have these little buttons? He's, he's just got a god complex. These little board. buttons. Look, look, look watch it. Watch this, Lupo. Watch, watch, Lupo. Try to talk. Try to talk now, Lupo. Yeah, no one can hear you. Don't make me walk out of here. Lupo, you can't. All right, this is the end. I forgot this one. This 24th day of June 2014. Yeah, Mark's over there. My bad. We are having a blast here on the Angel Clark Show. I want to thank all of our guests so far that have dropped by. Daryl Perry, who is... Passed out right in front of us right now. Throw something and see if you can make it into his mouth, Aaron. Oh, that was a bad throw, but not too terrible. Uh, we also want to thank Will Coley for dropping by. Uh, Will, the redneck Muslim agorist farmer. You, I can imagine, they just, people just... That's gotta just knock them right off their game. And I love that. I love blowing people's yeah. minds like that. I love just damn Sharia all exactly. them yeah. folks. Yeah, and, 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 and then like, there's Will. Yeah, like and he can be hanging out back with back those sound people that are saying that. He's like, you're surprised. I am a Muslim. <laughs> and now joining us, ah. uh, this this Our segment. Of, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. We have the one and only and a very familiar voice on the Angel Clark Show. We have Mr. Derek J. Derek, how are you, my friend? Ooh, I'm in heaven here at Rogers Campground at Pork Fest 2014. I'm loving it. It's my second Pork Fest, and I, it's just amazing. There's so many vendors. There's so much food. You guys are incredible hosting this show. And how about that? How about that uh, redneck Muslim? See his beard? <laughs> yes, that beard is beautiful. Impressive. It's I mean, look, my, my beard is not even close to that beard. No, you know, I, I just like tried. beginning Amish, and his is more like Super Wizard. Exactly. I'll never get the Super <laughs> Wizard status. It's just impossible. Not Gandalf status. You're getting close to, I would. I don't know, what would you say? Maybe Oak Ridge Boy? Watch <laughs> yourself, Lupo. I will hit that button again, and you won't be saying a thing. Well, look, how, look at his kid. It's like he's never even had him. Uh, hair on his face. I shaved this morning. I mean, that's, I'm going to see stubble. <laughs> yeah, Derek, like, I already like, have stubble. I have stubble already. Derek, you're like so perfect. Like your skin and everything. You have great tone. I mean, look at me Thank and Terry. It's more posture. Like, yeah, I know. And me and Terry are like, hey, oh, slobs. I've <laughs> showered for days. I'm stinking up the media room here, broadcasting live, Lancaster, New Hampshire, on the grounds of Rogers Campground. But, uh, Derek, you, you said this is your second pork fest? I, I'm surprised by that. I thought you'd been to more. I'm just assuming yeah, that. Yeah, I wish I had been to more. I've been here in New Hampshire for about four years, but when I first moved, I was so I had just scored two jobs, and I couldn't be like, hey, it's my first week working for you, but uh, I need a week off to go party with all my friends. So I, I couldn't do that, and then the next year, I was in jail, so I, I just couldn't make it. Oh, yeah. As badly oh, as I wanted, right. and then uh, after that Spanish. was the first year that I I finally could make it, and it was incredible. I couldn't believe that I was surrounded by so many people who were working on the project of enhancing personal freedom, and that everyone cared about it just, just as passionately as I did was just amazing to me. And then nowhere else can that happen. No, you're absolutely right, and, and and I really consider this like a Liberty family reunion, yeah. you know. And it's so funny to me, so many of the people that I'm, this is my second one as well. I, I came in, uh, what, two years ago. I skipped last year. Now I'm back again this year. Thank God for Bitcoin. That's what got me here. Right. But I, but anyway. Um, yeah, Most I, vendors here accept Bitcoin, which I think is also worth mentioning. Last that's a good year, point, yeah. Last year it was, do you accept Bitcoin? And this year it's like, do you accept Dogecoin and all the uh, yeah. other currencies? <laughs> I've, I've of course that. they accept Bitcoin and silver and everything else. So it's, it's pretty cool. I think it's like a family reunion, you know. I don't know if you guys have ever done those cruise ships where 
the big families come mm -hmm. on and they're all wearing like the neon shirts. They're terribly, oh, they match. They're, they're oh, terribly yeah. printed. They're like Johnson family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like all, somebody just like ironed on like those sticky grandma's letters. Grandma's skin, yeah. you know, it's like grandma's face or the matriarch, and she's like, <laughs> yeah, of course, it's like an iron-on press on. <laughs> yeah, like, like the somebody picture just did of the family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want shirts like that for board posts. We, we need, need a, a <laughs> we need a family reunion. Well, well, they take the family photo every year. Why not go ahead and turn that into a T-shirt? Derek sounds like design. Design a t shirt because we have no style. No, <laughs> the, uh, the queen t shirt that they have. That's, <laughs> that's, that's an old the queen. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, got the, the president of the Free State Project on it and it's got the God Save the Queen uh, with right. Carlos' photo. It looks terrific. <laughs> I, not everyone has that. It's a rare, rare uh, t shirt. I haven't seen access to it even. I haven't seen it for sale, but I that would be the perfect I logo. First I first saw that. I was like, reunion. That I was like who was that drag queen on that shirt? That's <laughs> Carl. Oh, it's just Carl. <laughs> Broke again. You're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we love Believe Carla. me, Carla be way worse. Oh, Another yeah, thing that I love about Porkfest is that it makes Skype real. Like I've met most of the people who I meet here on Skype and, or on in a chat room in right. LRN.fm. But uh, then meeting them in real life and hearing those voices in person, like yours, Brian. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Here, yeah. <laughs> You're not even paying three ninety nine a minute like you usually. Do. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I only charge fifty cents a minute. Is it really inflation? It's a bitch. I, mean, I, keep, I, I try to keep it realistic, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. You had the voice that you could do a porn online, but you just probably. There was a time in my life when I considered that. Back in the day when you the could 90s, get the nine, when you could get the nine hundred number hooked up yeah. in your house. I thought, you know, why not? You know, and I don't think anyone like, calls men. Do they? No, they really uh, don't. There were a few times yeah, when I accidentally dialed first. that one, and it was oh, like I accidentally that? dialed the other one, and my mom's that? like, "Why is the phone bill five hundred dollars this month?" <laughs> I'm like, "I'm going. I don't know. Someone must have hacked the phone line, mom. It wasn't me." <laughs> but I want to know is how many. True story. Like you know, online, there's a bunch of guys that fake to be women to get paid. You know, sure. in the chat rooms. I wonder if that stuff went on with phones. Yeah, well, like where they faked a woman's voice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it used to happen all the time in the party line days. I would call this party line number in Seattle. I'm like, explain to our listeners. Okay, 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 okay. No, well, no, no, no. This wasn't like the party line in your house phone. This was an actual party line that you called to like talk to people, oh, okay. looking for fun. You could like, you'd call this number, and it was in Seattle, Washington. I remember that. And you'd call it, and then it would be like, "Welcome to the party zone." And it was like. For the cha for the uh, lounge, press one. For the hot tub, press two. No way. Oh yeah, and I was on this thing all the time. Eric. I, I can't I, imagine. Your I, got, I got addicted to it. I remember the best thing that ever happened on this thing. No, there were a lot of guys that they'd be like, you'd be like. Oh hi, I'm I'm looking for a girl to chat with. I am a girl. And you're like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, my name is Valerie, and it's like, no, your name is not Valerie. <laughs> I know that, Larry. You know, and uh, I remember one time I went on. To, it was uh, during the Labor Day weekend, and I went on and pretended like I was Jerry Lewis. <laughs> and I, I, Jerry Lewis I, I, I kept telling on. everybody to make sure they tuned in to my telethon. And what was sad was <laughs> there was there was a girl. She was a single mom down on her luck, and she really thought I was Jerry Lewis. Oh, that's terrible! It was oh, Derek, that's heartbreaking. Derek, horrible. it was heartbreaking, and I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't. Yeah, you, you can't, can't make break it. the lie then. You yeah, know, like, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, this is I've been lying to you. No, and I yeah, I did not. I, I was like, oh, honey, bless you, bless you. Oh, I'm so glad to talk to you, honey. I am Jerry Lewis, and I'm doing this horrible like Jewish lady accent. Did you, you, ever, know? did you ever hear someone that you did recognize? guys on that line? No, I never did. But then years later, they People had recognized to... you. Oh, they like recognized me. I was a regular, that's for sure. <laughs> We've got much more in the ways of liberty to talk about when we come back on this edition of the Angel Clark Show. Our special guest is Derek J. Taryn B. Lupo sitting beside me. Taryn, yes, stop I'm... falling asleep. I'm going to push your button off again. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hang on, dear friends. It's a party. I thought you were trying to leave. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was can't leave yet. Okay. Oh, you can sit here. Oh, okay, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. No. Are you leaving? Yeah. Okay. You're only on one segment? I, I thought it was uh, one segment. Uh, yeah. No, I didn't even talk about you all the filming you're doing and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, that stuff. We're not even marketing. We don't throw you out. 